Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Tamriel once again, this time in the land of Skyrim. And this is just going to be a short little demonstration to show you how well Skyrim will run on my laptop. Which I have done previously with... Oh god, what happened? Which I have done previously with a few other games. And I think I shall continue to do so. Because they are providing to be quite helpful for some people, I hope. So, anyway. I am currently running Skyrim on high settings with anti-aliasing or however you call it and anti-strophic filtering something something at both at 4 or times 4 or however that is and I'm got it set to windowed mode 720p resolution and I'm currently chugging along at about 20 frames per second. Which, if you've seen any of my ARC videos, you will know that is better than what all of those run at. And that's how we do. So yeah, about 20 frames per second here in the wild. And I have not played Skyrim in a very long time, so I may press wrong buttons from time to time. Where are you running? What am I doing? I don't even need you guys. Is someone attacking me. It's just gonna be a mud crab. Oh, Jesus, what are you? What are you doing out in the wild? Okay. You guys aren't normally here. And now I'm dying. How did that happen? So we're now getting down to about 15 frames per second with a few magical effects happening. What else do I have? That's both healing. Three is my sword. Just destroys. Where are these chars coming from? I don't know. Anyway, what was I saying? Yes. Playing at 7020p. Settings on me... High? I don't know. I clicked default and I think it went to high. So that's fine. I will live with that. Crabs. <laughs> What? The locked room. Thanks. I'll get some lockpick skill up in here. What have we got? Du -du -du. Oh, shall it? Sure. <laughs> oh, righty, ladies and gentlemen. So, I just had some very fatal overheating in my laptop from running throttle stop which I used to use to stop thermal throttling in some games I used to use it when playing Ark but I've now found a better way and that is to use processor power management within the power options 
and that allows me to limit the CPU speed to 75% or maximum at 75% and a minimum of 50% so that even if it does thermal throttle it will only go down to 1.2 gigahertz and not 700 megahertz maximum speed is now was it 1.8 instead of the 3 gigahertz turbo speed that it used to be locked at with throttle stop so hopefully that solved my issue and I'm now seeing temperatures of about 74 75 so they're slowly creeping up but at least I should be able to play the game because I have recently reinstalled this well yesterday actually or yesterday for when I when I am recording this which is probably a week or so ago for when you're actually viewing this and I'm still running at 20 to 25 frames per second which is fabulous now I do apologize if you can see my mouse on screen because I can but that does happen sometimes when I play in a windowed mode for some reason and I tab out to check things and then tab back in So, yeah, I hope that's not too annoying if it is there. So, as I was saying earlier, I have all of my... Wait, I haven't discovered this yet? That doesn't sound right. Gold. And then I have like two little mousy things. really confusing and no I do not have s was that someone talking just then why are all these dead guys here I did not kill these guys anyway I do not have super quick loading times I just edit out loading who are you? You will die now. Failed? What? So I wasn't supposed to kill her? Oh. God damn it. Oh well. Might as well just go through and kill everyone else now. Good one. Capturing souls like it ain't nobody's business. Okay, so with some fog, we're getting about 15 frames per second. Which isn't hugely terrible I mean it's pretty bad on a five six year old game now 2009 this came out I know you're up there Where are you? So we're even getting up to 30 frames per second. And then we drop down to 17. Because for some reason thermal throttling is going down to 700, which I thought I had stopped. Oh, hey, there you are. And now you're dead. Gold. Crap. Nobody likes large amounts of crap. You have gold. And you will have gold.
No, you're already dead. Okay, so thermal throttling is already happening. Going down to 700 when it shouldn't be doing that. I'm going to quickly tab out. See why that's doing the thing and then come back real quick. Alright, so we'll see if that does anything. I just changed it from minimum of 50 up to 60% CPU speed. So I will now see if that changes anything at all. Hopefully it does. Go that uh, shop. Soul Jam, Alexa, Stutter. No, it's still going down to 700. Maybe. Maybe I just need to limit the maximum some more. Limit the maximum some more and then... I don't know... Reapply throttle stop? Ooh! Two hits for you! All oh, the delicious souls... Chumps have nothing for me. Keep forgetting there's a take all button. I really should stop forgetting. What are you? Rock warbler egg. Nordic barnacles! Absolutely useless. Watch out for traps. All right. Who's a guy got to fight around here? Ah. Snake and wolf. And whale. And bird. So I need to go bird whale. I think that's how it works. Bird whale. Then wolf and then snake. And that works. Lovely. Do 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 do. Okay, so I'm going to go quickly take a look at throttle stop and maximum speeds and see if that can't fix some stuff. BRB. Alright, so I brought me maximum processor speed down to 1.6 gigahertz instead of 1.8. And hopefully it will stop 
it's thermal throttling now. Otherwise I will have to re-employ Mr. Throttle Stop. Because those lag spikes when it goes down to 700 are just terrible. But I think I'm good now. That one, that one, and that one. Ooh, and there's an ebony sword. What? What? Thank you. No, still throttling. God damn it. I will be back once again. Okay, throttle stop is in action. Speed is limited to 1.696 megahertz. We will see how this goes. I've had this working fine for every other game, but apparently not Skyrim. Kind of annoying. Because I do really like Skyrim, I just haven't played it in a while. But now I'm just slowly watching temperatures creep up to 77. And obviously, I could just do the easy thing and turn settings down. And also get more frames per second, which I probably should do anyway, but... Eh, I ain't got time for that. Maybe later. This is to show you how it runs on my laptop. With my preferred settings and programs. Your experience may differ. It'd be different. Where is it? Oh, come on. It's right there. Nope. There we go. Do love that skeleton key. As long as the stuff I'm getting isn't useless. Stand on the traps. How deep this place goes. Pretty deep. So we're now up to 79 degrees, but we're not throttling, and we're keeping up at 36, well, 30 frames per second, which is absolutely wonderful. I take potions now, please. Thank you. 
Vogue's throne room. I do like a good throne room. I'll probably make my way through here and then call the video done. Ooh. Hey, bro. What's up? You feel like dying? Yeah, you feel like dying. I love this build. So much bonuses to archery and sneak. Ooh, new mask. No, oh, not that great. I'll take that anyway. Okay, so there is a snake and a snake and a snake and presumably another snake. lovely what do I get teach me your secrets wrath storm call that sounds like fun ding, ding. touching 80 degrees right now I think that's more than I get even on arc or is it about the same could be about the same could be completely wrong. Either way, still very rarely dipping below. Ooh, drag. Ooh, dragon scale. I think that's the first time I've ever found dragon scale armor in the wild. That's pretty cool. Let's go! So I like this, I'm now sitting at around 30 frames per second, which is more than what it was earlier. And this chick is dead, so I may actually just not save and come back and do this all over again so that I actually, you know, get the quest done. That is how Skyrim runs on my laptop when I'm running several different programs and modifying the uh, CPU power performance stuff. So if you haven't seen it already, I will put my system specifications at the beginning of this video and I will also put up the minimum system requirements for Skyrim so hopefully that can help people get an idea of what I am running in comparison to what Bethesda recommend we run and how it looks now because this is this is on high settings on my laptop and I've limited some things mainly the CPU power management keeping it to 1.6 gigahertz so it's not going turbo boost rabbit slaughtered why are you moving so slow rabbit Not 
keen to fuck with you right now. So I'm gonna leave the video here before I die and get my ass kicked. Damn it, Odoving, you are useless. Dragon bone, dragon scales. Thank you. What the fuck, man? Seriously, what the fuck? You're just flying around there. Not even helping a brother out. What is this? I mean, I know dragons are like your cousin and everything, but seriously, man? Could have used your help just then. Anyway, guys, that was me killing a dragon in Skyrim on my laptop. If you have any questions, just leave them down below and I'll try answer them at some point. Don't forget to like and subscribe so that I can, you know, be motivated to make more videos for you guys. And I will see you all next time. Shadow Mare, you're so pretty. Anyway, bye guys.